Rajasthan Tourism and Indian Railways have set into place a luxury train that brings together the past and the present. While the nostalgic past is all pervasive through the stately decor of the train, it has at the same time all the modern amenities that live up to royal lifestyles. The train is literally a moving palace. Thus, it has been christened the Palace on Wheels. The Palace on Wheels comprises 14 fully air-conditioned deluxe saloons with world-class facilities to enhance traveling pleasure. A journey by this train could be one of your most memorable experiences. The Palace on Wheels starts its journey at the Safdarjang station at New Delhi where the guests are given a warm Rajasthani welcome. The journey lasts for seven nights and eight days. It covers some of the most exotic places in Rajasthan and Agra, making you feel like a Maharaja all the time. The lavish dinner keeps your spirits high. There are two beautiful restaurants, Maharaja and Maharani. The first halt of the train is Jaipur, the pink city. It was founded by Maharaja Savai Jaising II in 1727 AD. The guests are taken around the city for sightseeing. The famed Hava Mahal is an architectural marvel with five stories and honeycomb shaped openings. The mighty Amer fort leaves a lingering impression in the minds of the guests. Elephant rides add to the joy of the visit. As the elephants ascend the slope, your imperial self comes alive. The construction of the fort was started by Man Singh I and completed by Jai Singh I. A beautiful array of designs fills up the interiors of the fort. The intricacies of the work hold the visitors spellbound. pampered like a royal master. Enjoy a lavish lunch at a five-star hotel. Rajasthani jewelry is irresistible. Shopping could be an enjoyable experience. The city palace, the home of the erstwhile royal family of Jaipur, holds a lot of charm for the visitors. The ostentatious lifestyles of the rulers could be gauged from the artworks and exhibits of the palace. Interestingly, the royal family still lives in a part of the palace. Interested in traditional Indian astronomy? Well, here you are at the Jantar Mantar. The largest Indian observatory of its time, built by Savai Jaising II. Back in the train after a long day, the guests enjoy the royal comforts, food and drinks. A well-stocked bar in the train serves wine, liquor and spirits of Indian and international make. The day at Savai Madhupur begins much before dawn with a visit to the Ranthambore National Park. 
It is one of the best Indian locations for sighting and photographing the animals and birds in their natural habitats. The park is home to more than 300 species of birds. Ranthambore is also the domain of the Lord of the Woods, the tiger. Prettiest experience to have seen a real tiger walking by in front of you. The same day the palace on wheels takes the guests to Chittorgarh, a city steeped in images of battles, bravery and romance. A sense of awe fills one's mind as one enters the Chittorgarh fort. Vijay Stham, the Victory Tower was built by Rana Kumbha in 1440 AD. It is one of the prime attractions of Chittor and commemorates his victory over the neighboring kingdoms. Enjoy the comforts of the train again. It's time now to head towards Udaipur. The next morning, as you enjoy a lovely breakfast, the palace on wheels approaches Udaipur, the city of lakes, palaces and gardens. The lake palace or Jagneva stands in the turquoise waters of Lake Pichola. A stroll through the Sahelion Kibari reminds you of the pastimes of the royal ladies of the court. The largest palace complex of Rajasthan is the city palace. Built in granite and marble and surrounded by crenellated fort walls, the palace stands on a crest overlooking the Pichola Lake. Fateh Prakash Palace, an imposing structure housed in the city palace, recreates royal traditions. The guests of the palace on wheels enjoy an exclusive lunch at the Royal Banquet Hall. In the heart of the Thar, the Great Indian Desert, Famous for its exotic sand dunes lies Jaisalmer, the next halt of the palace on wheels. Rao Jaisal founded the city in 1156 AD. The Golden Fortress is a magnificent structure made of yellow sandstone. The curved projections of the fortress stretch your aesthetic pleasure to the limits. The intricate latticed havelis with their grand facades and stone carvings indicate the skillfulness of the artisans of the bygone eras. Symmetrical openings and carvings show how dexterous the artisans of the past were. Sand dunes are expressions of nature's rhythm on sand. The excitement of camel rides on the famed Sam Sand Dunes give rise to indescribable joy. Seeping one's emotions in the sunset at the dunes could purge one to freshness. I loved looking at the sand dunes that were um, kind of undulating. Um, I thought it was just beautiful and the sun was starting to set. So it was a brilliant orange, um, and I just, it was very peaceful and quiet. A great dinner at a five-star hotel enhances the joy of the wonderful evening in this historic city. The music and dance performances by the folk artists of Rajasthan cast a spell on one and all. End of another day. The train moves on. There's nothing like relaxing in a saloon of the Palace on Wheels. Every saloon has a mini pantry.
to ensure easy availability of hot and cold beverages and refreshments. The lounge also serves as a place for relaxation and get-togethers. After a good night's rest, the guests are all ready to explore Jodhpur. The city ringed by a high stone wall with seven gates and several bastions. Jaswant Thara is an expression of masterly craftsmanship. The royal cenotaphs of white marble are fascinating. The Mehrangar fort enchants you with its rock solid structure. It has grand palaces within, each with its distinct architectural design. The interiors recreate the royal past. Designed by famed Edwardian architect Henry Lanchester, Umed Bhavan is a golden yellow sandstone palace. It took 15 years to build this palace and was finished in 1943. It's now time for a grand feast at this royal palace. Back to the comforts of the palace on wheels. The best of amenities are available in the train, including internet and DVD players. It's time once again to relax. Enjoy the soothing music of the sitar in the bar as the train takes you to Bharatpur a legendary city also called the Gateway of Rajasthan. Be ready to explore the Kevla Dev Ghana National Park, a world heritage site. It is a famous bird sanctuary. It is the nesting place of around 400 species of birds. A number of migratory birds flourish in the park environment during winter. Bharatpur is followed up by a visit to Agra, the great city of the Mughals. Agra Fort, built by Akbar the Great, is a massive red sandstone structure on the banks of the river Yamuna. It is symbolic of the prowess of the mighty Mughals. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan during his reign built the Taj Mahal as the final resting place for his favorite queen Mumtaz Mahal. The Taj Mahal is an expression of eternal love. Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore described it as a teardrop on the cheek of time. The Taj Mahal was completed in 1653 AD. The inlay marble designs on this marvel of marble leave one speechless. A photograph against the backdrop of this icon of ethereal romance could be one of the most treasured items in your album. Today, the Taj Mahal was the icing on the cake. It was, I just lost for words, it was excellent. The grand tour ends with the arrival of the palace on wheels at the Savdarjang station at New Delhi before the break of dawn the next day. Even though the tour ends, the memories of the incredible week stay with the guests forever. It's a wonderful way of seeing many, many sights. One couldn't possibly do it all on one's own. It was a wonderful journey and I recommend it for all.